chemical change. The objective of the video is to understand what a chemical change is. The examples related to chemical change. Children, in the previous video, you understood about the physical changes. No new substance is formed in a physical change. Just as we see physical change in our day-to-day -day life, we also see chemical changes. Let us go back to Rama and Babu and learn about chemical changes. Mother, I am very hungry. Give me roti quickly. Okay, okay. Go wash your hands. I will prepare the roti. Rama, you also come and eat. I am coming, mother. Didi, yesterday you were saying that unbaked bread can be made into flour. Atta again. And so it is a physical change. Mother is preparing the roti. And it is now eatable. This does not look like a physical change to me. See, now this roti is made. Can we change it to flour again? No, Didi. We can only eat it now. Rightly said. There are some changes that we cannot change. This change is permanent. Such changes are called chemical changes. Mm, baking bread is a chemical change because no one can reverse it after baking the bread. It means that the dough became a roti? Yes, due to chemical changes, a new substance is created. When we eat food, the stomach digests the food and breaks the food into smaller and simpler substances. Then, energy is produced. So, the roti you ate has been completely transformed into another substance. This is the characteristic of a chemical change. At the end of the chemical change, a new substance is formed. Hmm, can you tell if photosynthesis is a chemical change? If your answer is yes, what is the reason for this? Babu, can you think of more examples? Didi, yes. This curd is also the result of chemical change. Curd is made from milk, isn't it? Very rightly said. You know, chemical changes lead to mass changes. If you have eaten your food, then come here. We will now light this candle with a matchstick. What do you see? Didi, I see that the big candle is quickly become smaller. It became small due to the burning and this will get converted into carbon dioxide and a little steam which will go into the air. Matchbox can burn coal, wood etc. And these are all chemical changes. Am I correct Didi? Surprisingly, a small matchbox with very low energy burns a lot of heat and light energy when it burns wood or coal. I remember now, Didi, firecrackers we had bought for Deepavali when burned will result in a physical change. Wow! Burning crackers is classified as a chemical change because after burning of crackers, heat energy, sound energy and light energy are produced. This change is irreversible and is also permanent. The chemical changes look dangerous. You know Babu, on the other hand, some chemical changes are very useful. Uh, for example, due to chemical changes, by mixing many elements, medicines, soaps, etc. are made, which are quite beneficial for humans. Oh, okay Didi. Then, 
What are the side effects of chemical changes? Um, when food is spoiled due to chemical changes, it is an unwanted change. Due to this, the nutritious elements of food are destroyed and food is not edible. Burning explosion, food spoilage, color change and smell are all unwanted aspects of chemical changes. Titi, you have explained all this to me so well. This information will help me in doing my homework. Children, as you have seen, chemical changes are irreversible. Some are beneficial to mankind and some are harmful. We have learnt about various chemical changes today. In the next video, we shall learn about rusting and crystallization. See you soon.